Hi, I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's talk about friendships with the world and friendships with God. Um, and um, let's dive into scripture what, um, what it says about being a friend of the world and being a friend of God. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24, Jesus reminds us that you cannot serve two masters. You either love one and hate the other. And James, the book of James, chapter 4, 4, reminds us as well that if you love the world, you're an enemy to God. If you love God, the world can call the world considers you an enemy as well. And for that reason, is Jesus telling us there's never there's always gonna be one choice and you always have to choose one. Either you choose one or you choose the world. You have the free will to do so to do so the ch the choice is yours. Same way there's two paths, the path that leads to life and the path that leads to death. And um, the path um, that leads to life is the path of obedience. The path that leads to death is the path of rebellion. And you cannot go in both paths. You're one body. You have to choose one path, either the one, the narrow, or the broad one. And for this reason, um, Jesus tells us that we only have one choice is the fact that God created us and he loves us so much more than we can ever even put together um, and he cares and he wants us to be in heaven with him in eternity with him and that's why every day he continues to grant us grace he continues to um, to reach out to each and every one of us and there's a verse that I want to read in James chapter 4 verse 5 which says um, that oh, so it was before the cha the verse that I just said, chapter four four. It tells us that don't you know that friendship with the world means enemy enmity with God. Therefore, anyone who chooses to, who chooses to be the friend of the world becomes an enemy to God. And then verse five says, or do you think Scripture says without reason that He jealously longs for the Spirit He has caused to dwell in us, but He gives us more grace. And that is why Scripture says God opposes the proud. It shows favor to the humble. He gives us more grace every single day. He continues to find ways to reach out to us because that's how much he wants us. And the reason why he wants us and not the and not the reason why he wants us on his side and not on the world's side because God knows what the world is. God knows the world doesn't grant us permanent things. The world grants us temporary things that hurt us in the end. But for him. He grants us eternal things and that's why Jesus said come to me all of you who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest the world tells you come all of you who are weary and, and heavy laden and I will give you alcohol and I will give you temporary satisfaction I will give you sorrow at the end and I will give you nothing permanent but temporary so for that reason God loves you so much and he wants you on his side for a good reason because he created you or his son and daughter he created you out of his own image out of his own hands and for that reason he wants you forever with him in heaven so here's a real self-reflection question that i had to ask myself as well today i was like um so what are some friendships of the world that i still have today that i need to let go that i need to break off to so ask yourself are there friendships that I have with the world? Let's say um, you have you struggle with drunkness. Maybe you have friendship with alcohol, and that's an, that's something that dwells in the world. Um, maybe you have friendship with immodesty, um, and that's something that is that dwells in the world that you need to let go. So, ask yourself: What are some friendships that I have with the world that I need to clear out? That I need to let go.